Hey what's up guys my name is Farjana welcome to my another tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create a complete appoint booking system inside a Elementor website. Here I will use the Jet Appointment Booking plugin and using this plugin I will show you how you can create different kind of appointment booking form like how to create a booking form inside our single service pages, how to create for single provider pages and how to create a generalized booking form and also I will try to explain all steps and how to customize the form with the working hours, with the levels, with the layout, integration, overflow and as much as possible and I tried to explain all of the steps in very easy way. So if you like to see how to create different kind of advanced booking form for different services or for different providers including different kind of customization options this video is for you. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started. First of all we have to install this Jet Appointments Booking plugin and after activating this plugin we will find a new tab Appointments and under this we need to go to setup. Now we have to go with these steps. So here connect post types. Here we have to create two type of post. One will be the services and the another will be the providers. So I already created these two type custom post. Here is services and here is teams. We can also check it from our live website. If I go to website here is services all the services is listed below. This is a spa or parlor website. So here these are their services and if I go to their teams page. So here all the professionals are listed. So these are coming from their custom post. Services are coming from this custom post type and the professional list these are coming from this team. So we have to select the post type services under this post type. I'm selecting services and add providers. I'm making it on and then provider post type. This will be the team. Then going to next. And here the setup DB tables. So here the existing table column name. These are already there in our database and if we want to add any extra column inside our database we can also add that. For example here we will find the user ID, username, user email and this field already exists to our database and now I am going to add the phone number field. So new DB column, column name we can type simply the phone or to remember it I'm typing user phone and going to next here is the working hours and days off the time format here we will find some default settings the time format we can select any time format from here then schedule type slot time picker or recurring I'm leaving the default one or we can change it anytime after setup from the, our settings page and then here is the duration the slot duration 30 minutes or we can change it to one hour we can leave it to zero then buffer time before so this is basically the time gap before starting our service and also the buffer time after so this will be the after time gap for the service so we can set 15 minutes before and after we can leave it locked time before so before starting our specific service or booking there will be some time gap we can also add any time and multi booking so user can type multiple booking for different days and times for now I'm leaving it and also the working hours here different days and the time 
by default here is from 8 to 5 or we can change the time if I go to edit so we can change the time as you want also we can add multiple time so we can again start from 18 and the end time we can set it to 22 and save so here is working two times and for the saturday and sunday if we want to leave it as the holiday so we can leave it as it is or if we want to set the time for saturday we can also add time all right for now i'm leaving it and also i don't need actually this time so i'm removing this one and the day off so this will work for any specific off day instead of this can be monday or tuesday so for example we can set any specific government holiday or specific any days for example i'm adding our idul fitr or we can set the christmas time or anything typing idul fitr and start time this is september so i'm selecting the next october one and the end october five going to save and working days i did not test it before but you can check it this will work basically with our existing time so it will override our days and schedule i'm leaving it going to next and here is the setup additional options if we want to add any payment with our booking so for that we need to install the woocommerce i already installed the woocommerce plugin so if i enable it and if i want to add any specific payment like paypal or anything so we can add just payment method with woocommerce and that will work for this booking form also and two-way wc orders we can leave it create a single service booking form and also the create sample page booking form these two are very important so we have to enable these two this will create a automated booking form for single service page and also this will work as general form so we can create this form to any page i will also explain these two later and create a form in so the forms will generate it under the jet engines or jet form builder i'm selecting the jet engine so i already installed this jet engines plugin and our form will generate it here so going to finish all right i'm done and created forms so these two form is created now if i go to jet engines and forms this two form is showing here one is for single service and another for static page booking if i go to set this form for single service i'm going for services and go to wellness message now i want to add this form below this text so i need to edit the single page template service single I'm going here this will be the template layout for the single pages if I add this form inside this single type page this will show all over the other single services now scroll down and here searching for forms this is the jet form jet engine form I'm taking this and selecting form to single single service booking form and it's showing here now if i go to style tab we can also style it so this is the email address select provider and book now so we can fully customize this form from the style tab I'm going to add divider between rows and height one pixel 
the color I'm setting this gray color and the border so going to fields and border type solid border width none and the text we can increase the font size sorry this is not this font I'm going to rows and levels I'm going to increase the font size and finally the buttons so going to submit and border radius making it off the alignment making it full width and adding some padding I'm adding 22 or 20 and increasing the button font size and we can also decrease the width for this form so if I go to advance and from here width making custom and width and for now if I save it going to refresh and here we can customize it more from the style tab for now I'm just showing you how it's working now I'm typing email and select provider so we have to select provider under these services we still did not link any providers with this service we have to do that so wellness message if I go to edit this post we still need to update this so if I go to appointment and settings the service type we again need to update service and provider now when I go to refresh the service I'm crossing it and now if it's connected properly on the right side we will find the options related team so for service we can select any expert name who can provide this service only so I'm typing name and another one and now if I save it and refresh from service so when I go to select provider we can see these two expert names so I'm selecting this one and now the date so I'm selecting this date and we will find the time slots so I'm selecting any one and here we can see the provider name then date and the time slot and when I go to book now so now it's redirecting to the checkout page of WooCommerce if we don't need this payment you can also skip this part and it will be completed to booking so for now I'm not going through these checkout steps you already know how to set up this WooCommerce payment so in this state if I check if I go to appointments we will see this booking we can check from here and the status is in hold if I go to edit we can still make it to complete so if I select to complete and save so we can make the booking complete anytime if you need for now we can skip this checkout if I go to again appointments and settings for now I'm just making it off the WooCommerce integration so if you don't need the payments or this WooCommerce integration so I'm making it off and now if I again going to this booking form refresh now again selecting another one and selecting the time click on book now
and now if i again going to appointments and here is our second booking it's also pending we have to make it enable or the status we can make it to complete we can also make it uh, instantly complete so when someone set any booking it will be completed we can change all these from our settings so if i again going to settings and also we can change the working hours so instead of slot we can change it to time picker or recurring system and we can change the duration the all the settings so we can change this anytime if you need and also the time for days and day off these are customizable and also the levels if i make it on and we can set custom levels for our booking calendar for now i'm making it off and also going to layout from here we can customize our calendar layout the slot for now is showing below we can set it to sidebar and scroll to appoint details after select slot so you can check or play with these options for now i am just leaving and also we will find some advanced option availability check by so when any user book any time it will check all available time through all services or by each services then how to process on hold appointment keep on hold slot available so you can check all these options automatically switch appointment status if i make it on and switch interval so if any appointment keep in hold it will be automatically failed or cancelled after one hour or we can change the duration from here also we can change the confirmation message and cancelled message for appointment hide setup wizard so we can check all this if i go to integration here is options to enable zoom feature so we can also enable the booking with our zoom so we can set any booking or booking time with our zoom account and here is a most interesting thing the workflow here is the appointment created when any appointment created start immediately so when our appointment will be created that time we can set some actions like if i go to new actions and actions name for example when you will book the appointment and it will be confirmed you will get notified by email the your appointment is confirmed by this time and also the service provider also can be notified that you will be booked that time with a user named this so for example we can type confirm to user and send email or we can set a zoom meeting so for now i'm sending email so here will be the email of user uh, we can check it from our form if i go to jet engines form or we can check it from tools if i open the tools in a new tab um, i'm going to forms and single service booking form going to edit and from here user email this will be the user email if i go to edit and name so this will be for user email action email email to user email and email subject we can type your appointment is confirmed and sent from email that can be admin email address or we can type any email and the from name 
and the email message your appointment is confirmed with we can select the provider title so that will be the provider name and we can set the time at the appointment time appointment start date or and time and in the same way we can set another actions email to provider so provider also get notified email to so here it will be the email of the provider i'm going here and from here if i go to provider meta field and meta field name so we have to set the email meta field and for that if i go to teams and if i open any of the members here is the email meta field and this is the meta field name i'm going to copy and paste apply and then email subject we can type any subject and in the same way typing the admin email address and from name and in message we can type the username like from this form if i go to we can take the username or if we don't have the name so that case you are booked to a user at the booking time appointment start time and date and here we can customize it as you want and in the same way we can add more actions with the appointment submitted or when the our appointment will be created and then going to tools and we already did it and then finally the setup so here is nothing to do if you want to reset all the settings and want to start from scratch that case you can select the reset and again go to step by step and if you already okay with the settings and you never don't want to go to this reset option so we can hide it from advanced and here the hide setup wizard i'm making it on and now if i go to setup and the reset button is disappeared lastly i'm going to the forms so going to jade engines and forms and now we can also customize the single service booking form and all of the forms here we can add any extra fields with this form for example we added a new field the phone number we can add it with our form so going to add field going to edit so from here we can change it to numbers and the field name that can be user phone this will be the exact same name which we added to our new table name if i go to the appointments and settings and go to tools here is the column name user phone so we have to use the exact same name as the form field name and the level we can type any name so i'm typing phone and we can add any extra description that can be required or not i'm making it not required we can set the placeholder also some default value mean value max value and steps so we can leave it for now going to apply and also moving it top user phone i'm moving it after the email and also the insert appointment if i go here here all the field information will go to under the appointments and user phone i'm selecting it to user phone apply changes and we can add more actions after submit so add notification and this time 
it's the send email or we can change it to a different one here is options i'm selecting it the send email and mail to the admin email address by default or you can set to a custom email so when any form will be submitted it will also be sent to the admin email address or we can set it to a custom email reply to email we can set all these as per our need new appointment submitted with we can select the provider name so i'm selecting the provider id or provider title so that will be the name sorry provider title and service for this service at time appointment start time okay so this will be the email body or message and we can also set all this like the subject name new appointment submitted from name from email address we can set as we want apply changes and we can set one more instead of that we can redirect to a success or thank you page so if i select redirect to a page and redirect to a static page select page i'm selecting a thank you page i already created before and add query you can leave it and apply changes finally going to update and now if i go to our service and if i refresh type the email phone number provider and time click on book now so it's going to the thank you page and now if i go to our form and going back to all forms so in the same way we can customize all others form and now here is the static page booking form we can add this form with any pages for example if i go to the home page and book an appointment so i think we can link the general appointment or booking form with this button we can create a pop-up and we can add that form and that pop-up will be linked with this button we can do that in that way for now i'm just uh, going to add inside a page to see how it's looking and now for example i'm going to add this form in this section so searching form and i'm taking this and when i select the form i'm taking static so similarly here is showing the form and we can fully customize it for now if i save it and if i go to our home page so here first we have to select the service and under this service we will see the provider name and then we can select any time and type email then book now and in the same way we can create a single form for each of the team member for now i'm just removing this form and if i go to teams and if i go to any single member so we can create a different single form for each of the team member page or provider page here we need not to select the provider name so we can create in the exact same way how we added to the single service pages now we can create a form for the single provider the same way which we have for single services 
single service booking form if i duplicate now going to edit single service provider sorry single provider single provider form service id will be the provider id apply and here the provider id we need to select the service we can change the type to select and name will be service id level select service and all is good going to apply changes and going to update now in the same way from single team member if i go to team single page and scroll down here i'm taking a form selecting single provider now when i save and refresh from this page and here in the same way need to type the email the phone number and the service so we have to select services the select services it's not working we need to update the form here the provider id this will be basically the team's id and for services this will be the post type name if i go to services and add new from top you will see the post type services so the name will be the post type select service and manual input this will be post post type services and also from insert appointment we need to update the service id field service and provider id teams id apply changes and finally update and again refresh all right all is good now here is showing the services and we can now customize this form style same as others form all right so that's all for now finally i want to say that if you go through all the settings one by one and play with all single item you will learn it more and this plugin will be updated day by day and they are adding more features which we need in this tutorial i tried to cover the most useful and most important part of this plugin and try to explain it in a very easy way thank you so much for watching my tutorial if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.